Welcome to the Bookless Book Test. So what we're going to do is you actually use any book on an iPhone or any of any Android or phone device, um, and you can actually predict any word from any book. They actually be a legitimate real book on an iPhone or phone. You can actually flick through the page and actually read it. Before we get into that, let's get into performance, and then I'll show you the tutorial. Okay, so now we're going to try something a little bit different with uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone actually in here in iBooks. Uh, you can actually read that if you want, actually make sure that's a legitimate copy of Harry Potter. And uh, so there's what, 364 pages in here, so quite a few pages. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring the phone down and we're just going to flick through like this. Flick through all the pages and you're going to call it stop any time you like. Stop. There? You don't want to go any further? You want to say that? Not that, sir. Cool. So what I want you to do is memorise that first word on the top of the page there for me. Yep. You got that? Perfect. I'm going to lock the phone. You can hold your hand out nice and flat for me. I'm going to put the phone face down in your hand. Now you actually got that word burnt into your mind. I want to actually picture you burning through your mind down through your arm and into the phone. Now you've got that word burnt down onto the phone. If you turn the phone over for me, you actually see on the lock screen, hopefully, is your thought of word. Wow. Yeah. Lit. That was pretty good. All right, so let's get into the tutorial right now. Um, what you can actually do is if you have it, you can actually have a real book. So you can actually purchase this from uh, the App Store if you don't have an App Store or whatever, but you can actually have any book that you need. And you can actually see it's a real book. So what you're going to do is you're going to flick through the book until you find the word that you want to use. So in this case, I wanted to use horrible. And just for argument's sake, if we wanted to use another, what you're going to do is you're going to screenshot that by if you have an Apple device it's holding that button in and the home button what you could do is you screenshot it so you're done and save to photos and then you're just going to select another random page to show at the very beginning so for instance this one and save that one as well so now you've saved your photos and now what you're going to do is you're going to create a folder so if you can see here in mine I've got a folder called Harry Potter if you don't know how to do this well, you're actually going to come back and you're going to hit the plus button up the top here and create a new album and then it's going to ask you to import your photos so you're going to import the last two photos you just did so for my performance I had this as my show photo to show them it's still the book and then my uh, forced word here So what the performance is, if you come in to your iBooks, you tell them and ask them to read through. If they've read Harry Potter before, they can actually read it and see it's a legitimate copy. And as you bring the phone back around to yourself, you're gonna double tap the bottom button to bring up photos, just click on it, and make sure you're starting on your first, uh, your first frame there. So once again, you're in the uh, books, and you're gonna double tap, open up this, and then while the phone's around to yourself, say, oh, how many pages are in this? Again, double tap, into photos, and say, oh, there's 357 pages, so it's quite a few. And bring it back around to them. So now you're on this photo frame of yours, ready to flick through. And as you turn the phone down to flick through the pages, you're gonna flick through the first photo, like this. And then underneath, you're just gonna use your finger, not actually swipe the photo, but you're just gonna pretend to, like this, but from top angle, it looks like you're swiping through the photos. They call out stop anytime they like. You come up and show that first word. Now, when you lock the phone, you put it straight down. The phones are now got like that uh, gizmos in it. So when you turn the phone over, it automatically comes up to their thought of word.
Um, but you can also do it on a piece of paper. You can write it down, put it in your wallet, get them to hold on it beforehand. Um, Any way you want to reveal a prediction. Write it in the sky if you want. Get a couple of thousand dollars for the planes. Um, get a tattoo on your arm of the word. However you want to perform it. Have several different books if you want to. You can instantly repeat. Go to different books and different words for different people. There you go. Enjoy your bookless book test. Let me know what you think in the comments below.